recording for YouTube. Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode here on this uh, Beastman Eye for an Eye legendary campaign. So we're about to conquer Lear here, I want him to try and move in so that I can ambush a little bit more. And as well I want him to spend some units trying to face off these guys. Let me just see if I can actually ally them. Nah. The mission failed with them, so that's why they usually don't go for it. If It's a question about accomplishing the mission for them. If you accomplish it, they will love you and they will just join you. If not, well, that won't happen. Okay, let me just end up the turn and see what happens there. I think I might have finished it. You can see the Brayherd there. So maybe Boris is wounded. That would be nice. I gotta check out on that uh, place there. Yeah, he moved away. That's good. He's moving with a couple of armies there. Mm hmm. That was good. Let me check the victory objectives. He is in a wounded state. That's perfect. So, Boris is in a wounded state. Uh, this guy might be able to go all the way to Frot and still take it. So, let's see if I can do that. There we go. And I think there's another Brayherd here, right? There isn't. There isn't. Now, there's a couple of units here, but I'm pretty sure that I can actually attack this army right now and use the Lightning Strike. That'll be nice. If I use the Lightning Strike, I'm pretty sure that I can win. Um, if the landing strike fails for some reason, then I'll need these guys. So let me just move here. Now let's attack. Hmm. I actually got an ambush. So it's most of the time ambushes because I do have something that is increasing the ambush stance, I believe. Yeah, I do believe this guy has something that increases the ambush. Uh, let me check. Is the resistance? No, this doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can check the character details. Let me check him. Yeah, he's a superior ambusher, you know. Superior attacker, arc manipulator, one eye, zero router, torment utterances, augmented by the gods, all quarter. That's nice. He has some good traits. Let me see if he has something that allows more stuff. I don't know. I can't check his skills though. But it's fine. Let's fight it up. This is the, about the hardest um, enemy there is. Or the hardest uh, uh, strength or um, army that, I, that Midenham has right now. So if I finish this up, everything is up uh, for the taking. And I'm actually doing this without needing you know, anyone else. Uh, my other army is not important. So I can attack here, and the Pistoliers won't do too much. Now, but they do have Demigriff Knights and Halberds, as well as Empire Knights there. So I do need the great these guys, because they have some shields. They're gonna go over here. So one, two. Group three, here. These guys are gonna go over here. They're needed to take care of the pistoliers and the hand gunners. These guys are gonna go over here. They can take care of that. And my Saigar is gonna go over here. He's gonna attack immediately. Um, let me check one thing. His missile damage is really powerful. So I'm gonna let him on missile damage. Right there, he has a good, good chance to do that. And I think my reinforcements are coming in from that side, so that's it. Pretty decent stuff. Pretty decent stuff. So. Oh. There we go. Okay. 
Let's send my Gorborg over there, and let's send my Kazrak there as well. My Gorborg can use this. Yeah, there's there's nothing that it can be done here. My Bistigars are having some issues. Over here everything is one. That's good. These guys are facing facing the demigriffs. They're actually doing really well. Yeah, there we go. They're already fleeing, so that's nice. And over here, it seems like those demigriff knights are also gonna go. No, I had to get everyone together because there wasn't there wasn't too much time there to you know to plan out perfectly. This is an ambush. It goes by really fast, as you can see. So all that it matters to me is that actually it was destroyed and most of their units are completely wrecked. So group 4, let's stop your auto fire. Let's stop your auto fire as well. And now let's make sure that these guys pursue and kill some, place, some guys here. You're gonna stop that shooting, <laughs> sorry, so will you. Okay, let me just check this, more damage resistance. Yeah, that's nice. There's a couple of decent stuff here. Right, that's some great swords, those are great swords. Those are halberdiers that need to be destroyed. There's a great swords there. There we go, let's fasten it up. Good. Now let's go for these great swords. There we go. Yeah, because those are gonna get killed. These are 3-3. Three, three, and I think this is 10, so that's fine. Is, so long as they have very few, very little units, or very few units on each uh, group, they will disband completely. That was really good. That was his best army. And 83 losses, there was nothing. And units replenished. Decent over there. So I can't even take the city right now. It can't even be an odd result there. And then I can go into Alien Hall. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, of course so. New attack. Oh, I can ambush, but this time it's going to be an auto-resolve. Let's go for Lear. It's also going to be an auto-resolve. This is fairly, fairly easy battles, guys. Let's loot and raise. Now let's get the skills. Oh, this one doesn't have. But my Chilidonga has. <laughs> What do I want from here? I want more hit points, yeah. That's really cool. Malagor. Malagor. Yeah, let's go over to these guys. He can spawn a Saigar. <laughs> really? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that one. This guy is going really well. Oh, I should have used this. Should have used that one. I need to transformation of Kadon. I need to use them to check that out. That out. Okay, this guy can't replenish, but this white guy can. And honestly, I should actually merge some units and just get some more. What can I recruit here? Well, I can recruit some units. I can recruit some Centigors, and even some Bestigors and stuff. So why not? Why not? Let's see. You can merge those units. So that's two units. How about one? Oh, that's two turns. So I don't like that. Yeah, I can do this. It's one turn. It's better than the outcome. You know. There we go. I refuse. He has an army there, but that's not important. It's not like he's gonna survive this one. So that's one place. 
to sack Ellenhof and then Schopendorf. And that's where we end the campaign, I guess. Because that will be the last place. Unless Boris is alive. Answer the call of a rival beast lord. Nah, I don't like that. Let's disregard the call for now. Nah. How is everything? This guy has enough troops. This guy has enough troops. But I wish I could actually re reinforce. Yeah. So I can attack Elenhof. And, and it would be an auto resolve fairly easily. Let's move here. And you can't go with that, but you can go with this. Well, it's fine. It doesn't have too much. So you're gonna go over there, and you're gonna attack Elenhof. Yeah, this is an auto resolve, guys. 24k, so finally. There we go. Issue solved. There we go, so let me check the goals. Yeah, I just have to raise one more settlement. That would be this one. Schopendorf. That is it. And let me see, do I ha still have this Drehurt? I still. They are replenishing, so that's fine. That's cool. Uh, I need to sack one more and the Shadow Guard tribe will respect me, even though they are dead. So I don't know how that will happen. Yeah. So that's good. I think I'm gonna be over with this campaign in just one more or two more turns. So let's go into this. And next turn I do get one more turn. This time I'll get uh, one more moon. Right. Can use the power drain, that's good. Okay, so I can move over there. Can encamp. And you can encamp. That's it. And then the next turn, I think I'll be in place to attack Schuppendorf. Schuppendorf. I think that's how it says. I think that's how it is. Oh, I have my microphone a little bit too far away. There we go. When one falls. Perfect. That's actually the most powerful one. It just gives me rep full replenishment in like a turn or so. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and even build the giant slayer for now. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Over here I can't build anything, but that's it. So I have the Lunar Eclipse. That's good. More Chaos Corruption. And Schopendorf is, is gonna get killed. I do have my Brayheart, so where do I send the Brayheart? I think I'm gonna just send it here. This other one will arrive there. Maybe it will finish that up. Yeah, it did. It sacked. So I might <laughs> I might have just finished right now. Ready for duty. Right. Bonus experience. Right, this guy is gonna go over here. That's construction completed. Rank gained. That's the Brayheart dude. That's fine. So this guy, you're gonna go over there. And I think that is over, actually. I, oh, I need to check what Boris is. He's over here. So that will finish it up. That will finish it up. Let me see. I actually can recruit the giants. It takes two turns. I wonder if I should. Should I show you some giants? Or should I just finish this up? Honestly, 
Well, I could show you some giants, but no, that'll be two turns, and I don't need two turns. Let me see what happened here. Absolutely not. That is bodies. This guy can have. Oh, he can have some some stuff. I'm just giving him random stuff. Let's go with that. I really want him to be kind of like an assassin. Let's see if I can assassinate this guy. Failure. I will not obey. Right. Let's attack bodies then. Can I do that in one turn? I cannot. So perhaps. Disbanding someone in order to get some more guys. Let me do that. Yeah, let's disband these two in order to get some two giants there. So here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna merge there. You know, provide, provide him some more. Not that. Provide one and another. There we go. Now you can have two giants. There you go. It will take two turns. This guy, he's just gonna move in range. There we go. So two more turns. Okay, they're gonna destroy that Brayheart. Yep. And Bodice is gonna try something. Pretty sure of it. I would, you know since I'm divided here. But I need Boris to stay put, so... This would break my vows! Right, I have Malivar here, I have this guy here for one turn. Oh, Let me approach, because I'm pretty sure that this guy is going to take some time. Do not make right, this guy managed to do some... <laughs> Some killing, of course he's a level 10. Could I build something? Well, I would need so much horde. Uh, can recruit a hero though? No, I can't. Two numbers. Right, let me see what's going on there. Yeah, this guy is wounded. Stave buff. Come on, marshmallow dude. Let's just move him over here. This Brayherd is actually doing really well, which is amazing. Yeah, it's doing really well. And these guys, they Not might possible. be attacked. I don't know. Maybe he will attack me, maybe he won't. But, oh, what is this? Flagellants, Mace Infantry, their Damage Dealer, Frenzy, and Unbreakable. That's nice. That's an interesting unit. I hadn't oh, seen that one for before. Right, let's have two giants in order to attack there. On Schop Schopendorf. Schopendorf. Okay, that was a decisive ability. Yeah, so this Brayherd is going strong. In terms of objectives, I've actually <laughs> raised more than needed. Alright. So you're gonna move over here. No. That's bodies. So I need to go against bodies there. Well, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna move in closer to me. Yeah, as soon as he realizes that this is under attack, he's gonna move closer to me. And all that he has are mortars, so that's that's strange. Let me see if I can... Assault? Let's assassinate him. Let's try. I will not obey. Yeah, but he still got some experience, so... Skill points. Recruitment go assault. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get the authoritarian. That will allow some action stuff. 
which is what he's going to do. Hello Bart! Welcome to the stream, mate. So basically all that I have to do for you to know uh, is to get Body Start bring it. That's about it. That's all that I have to do. I have to chase him down and make sure that he is in a wounded state. Everything else is optional. So Bodis, come on, move closer to me, please. Come on, Bodis. Well, I see that I already have some skills earned. Yeah, Bodis is not close, but getting closer. Right. Really need to go over there against Bodis. So here's what I'm gonna do. I can't reach him. But I can attack this place. And destroy it. That way he won't have any place nearby. It has been so long. One and a half? Two months? Uh, one month for this campaign. Exactly one month almost. Good. So I destroyed that city. Right now I can have some more skills. Uh, I'm not even gonna choose too much, you know, just some basic stuff. My Chili Donga, he's just gonna have 30% more hit points, so that's 6,000 now. Um, yep, and right now this guy, I just might approach him, because... Yeah, because... Might just approach here. You know, that's still a good ambush chance. No. And if he attacks me, he's dead. So that's exactly what I want. Because that's too many mortars. It's not like he can do anything about that. What, are they declaring war? Or do they want to join Confederation? They have declared war. Okay. That's bad, even though it doesn't hurt me too much. Hawkland is approaching, but that's fine. And we should have no problems getting bodies there. That's the only thing that I want, is to get bodies. Ugh, oh, he's moving so fast. Uh, brutal business. Ooh, weapon damage for everyone on all factions. That's nice. Right, so the problem with this is that this declaration of war is that I cannot catch bodies there. Well, I might be able to wound him. I don't know. Failure. I'll ignore that. But the problem with this is that I really have to attack this place. So let's attack him and make sure that I can move away. Good. You can move away now, right? So that's exactly what you're gonna do. Good. That's fine. Now I'm not too interested on these guys because they are going through the uh, chaos. Uh, Bart, wanna play some friendly battles once you finish? Uh, I can. Um, well, I actually can't today. Probably just uh, during the week. Sorry about that, Bart. Just so that I can actually record uh, uh, everything that I need for YouTube. All right, man. Sorry about that, but I don't think I'll I'll have enough time today. Um. Right. It's all about catching catching bodies there. Hopefully he'll allow me. Come on, Middenheim, approach me, please. If they want, I'll have to move in Force March, actually, which is annoying. Yep. Okay, I do have a Brayheart. Okay, so that Brayheart is actually going to attack... has some giants, so I might be able to attack these guys and do the damage. There we go. Never. Yeah, it should have the damage there. Now I can move these guys with the hidden, the beast, the beast paths, so that I can spot him. But I would like to replenish. Actually, I would like to replenish. How many turns until the full moon? Two. So I might have no problems with that. Let me just see the difference. Well, it's not a lot of it. And this isn't a powerful army at all, so... I will not obey! Yeah, so let's see. This guy can go over here. This guy can go over here and still 
remain there. You saw my time, but which day would be good for some gaming? Probably on Friday. Friday I'll be uh, kind of day off because I'll be working at night on the night shift, like 10 to 7 a.m. So on Friday I'll be able to do uh, a couple of battles and stuff like that. Uh, let me just keep going with this guy. I got a spot where Bodies is. Oh, there he is. I just have to wound him, man, and he's just fleeing away. Right. Let's move. Come on, Ripper, Horn, Tribe. They're trying to get to Bodies as well, I think. Yeah, I think they destroyed my, my Bray Herd already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Cool, Friday is off for me. Yeah, because uh, I checked your, your timetable, it's actually going to be fine. <sighs> a little bit tired, I just want to finish this campaign and then uh, make a small break and then restart some, uh, on the Empire campaign, I guess. Okay, Bodies is not moving, which is good for me. Actually, not moving too much, you know. You can actually send this guy over to him. They were attacking. Yeah, because they are besieging them. <sighs> right, next turn I do have the Dark Moon. So, what I think, I'm gonna move over there. There we go. Just make sure that we have all everything together. Um, and that way... That way, Hawkland can't catch me for now. You know, even though they are rushing towards me. They are suffering heavy casualties for those. So, how was your time, huh? Says Bart. Bart, uh, I had a wonderful time on the honeymoon. A wonderful time. Like, I visited Pompeii, Rome, I visited um, Florence, the Tower of Pisa, uh, visited the Olbia, that it was amazing. Barcelona, it was really cool. I had a lot of fun with my, with my wife, <laughs> which is so strange to say that now. Okay, when one falls, exactly what I wanted to, to see. Good, let's see what happened here. Right, so this guy... Wh where's... where's Bodice? He's here? I don't know where he is, actually. Right, I don't know where he is, so I'll have to attack this guy. I guess. Uh, hang on a second. I'll probably be able to find him through this guy. Yeah. Happy for both of you, thank you so much, Bart, actually. So, um, right now, what I'm considering... Hang on. So, I'm considering that I actually have to destroy these guys. In order to do so... Let me just approach as I can, a little bit. Now, just go into somewhere where I have a little bit more ambush chance. There we go. And then put myself in hidden encampment. I know, not the the objective there. It's just to... as soon as I leave the camp, you can't see him. Yep, yeah, he's there but ambush times. Yep, yeah, I was hoping that this guy would be able to detect him at least. But no, doesn't matter. We'll still get everything. So Hogland is trying to approach me but they are suffering so much. Too much attrition there. Right, bodies actually managed there. To kill my Greyheart. So that's good because I will get another one soon. Right, but that Brayhair did more than what we already bargained for. Okay, he's he's maybe vulnerable. I don't know. Success. Hang on a second. And that's a victory, guys. As soon as I end up to turn, it will be victorious. So let's just have a small battle here. There we go. Be right back. So let's just have a small battle against these guys. Just have some fun and show you off the um, the giants, shall we? So let's move here. Come on, it's not allowing me there. 
And let's attack this guy. I can't attack him? Really, I can't? That's because of all the assault. Well, then I can move these guys then. He's retreating? Really? How about this guy? He retreated as well. Right, so... Can I attack this guy? I can, but they will retreat. Okay, that's no, no problem. Just gonna go back. Just gonna go back. This guy is gonna go back as well. A small battle against three armies. Well, I can't do it, actually, because as soon as I end up to turn, I've won. So... Oh well. It's still interesting. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, and they're fleeing. I thought I might have, you know, just continue and get that one. But oh well. I managed to wound Boris, and that will be a successful end of this campaign. Good! Campaign victory! Yee! So, as you can see, I actually... Let me put this a little bit faster. I was actually on fast forward already. Yeah. So there was a lot of destruction going on. I'm just gonna let you see this. This is brought up by civilization idea, I think, guys. So I had a lot of good stuff. I had a lot of good stuff. I think, you know, I, I was too impressed by the size of the... You know, of... Um, what's it called? The cult of Ulrich? And I didn't went against them. If I had, I think I'm. it might have been a little bit different. You know. Don't forget about that this was actually the, the campaign where I lost due to that bug, you know, due to the, the ambush of my own Brayheart, which is so annoying. <laughs> but still, uh, let me show you a little bit of what's going on a little bit faster. So over there it's when I just leave that place. Yeah, I just actually left it because, you know, it was better to go after the cult. So this is where brutal business, war declared, army lost. <laughs> That's the most dangerous stuff ready for duty, a lot of units recruited. That is when I had to, as you can see, that's like, what, 20 turns before I even destroy anything? Yeah. And then finally, after all of this, look at that, I haven't yet destroyed anything. Or conquered anything. Nothing. And I'm just fleeing and trying, look, I'm fleeing there. <laughs> that's where I am. And now finally, I have the units in order to go again. Yep. Look at that. It's actually 40 turns, almost 40 turns to just do that. Wow. To just recover from that loss. If you haven't seen it, I think it's episode like 17 or 18 or something like that. You're just gonna see me <laughs> raging at the game. But still, I managed. I managed. And then after this, it's, it's finally uh, in a good stance. So yeah, as you can see, everything gets destroyed. I even destroy that one. Yep. And uh, yep. Basically, Middleheim only had that. Amazing. Could have gone for the other one, but no. Let's return to the main menu. Let's actually check the statistics. So, 194 turns. Could have been done in like 120 easily. Um, 25 buildings constructed. Almost all researches. 7 missions completed. I thought I, I hadn't. So one faction destroyed, 18 vessels, well, current wars 3, war declarations 10, most wars 3, uh, lots of income actually, 946, hmm, total expenditure, 927, military forces only 3, that was the most, most concurrent armies 2, yep, lords recruited 3, Lord's kill 28, <laughs> units destroyed for 523, wow, and 31 units lost, that's still, you know. Um, bots, battles fought uh, personally 46, compared to total battles 54, so I did not resolve anything on this one, that is nice, that is nice. Uh, lots of victories, subterranean intercept victories 1, total defeats 2. <laughs> A land battle and a subterranean intercept defeat. There were those works. You could have gone on with it, right? To destroy Midland and Hawkland. 
Yeah, but I could. I think I won't actually, just so I can go into further content here on the channel, so that way I can end up the Empire campaign and start a new one, for instance, after that. So um, that is my thinking. Right now, what I want, I want to make a small break and then um, just read some stuff. And then I'll continue with my Empire campaign instead of this Beastman. So that will be it for the Beastman. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yep, I'm just going to click Continue Campaign for now, but it's still, you know, it's it's completed. Let's defile their shrines. Yep. So I want you to play too. Yep. So basically, uh, what has happened is that we completed this Brayherd campaign. It's a nice campaign, you know, just to explain what a Brayherd is. You know, it's still a cool one. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this campaign, and I hope you guys loved it and that you um, enjoy it as well on YouTube. So, cheers, guys, and thank you guys all on the stream as well. Bye bye.